Sony has just announced a new lens, a 70-200 f2.8 G Master lens Mark II. Yes, Mark II. That is, I think, the first G Master to get its new version, as we already had a 70-200 G Master. But check this out. I tested this one out. I shoot a portrait session. I shot a classic Lego Bokeh Ball test and I'm happy to share with you the results. What is up everyone? My name is Magic. I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador and father of four children. Welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, the channel about photography, weddings and gear, mainly Sony gear. And yes, 70 to 200 today. I don't have one on me. As you can see, I'm not holding one, but I briefly had it like around two weeks ago. And funny enough, just as I wrapped up my wedding season last week, week sony is back with the announcements and hopefully that's not the only announcement in this period of of time so i'll have some work to do here on the channel so stay tuned for all the news uh, but yes 70 to 200 i had it only for a few days in between my weddings so i took it for one wedding shoot then i set up a portrait shot uh, then i rented the version one of this lens as i wanted to get the comparison i don't own any of the zoom lenses um, from sony and i also was you know was told what is new about this lens uh, so i kind of you know checked all the points that sony said about this lens in real life so starting with the lens design like i think the most important fact about this lens is that it's way lighter than the version one so the numbers compared to the version one this lens is 30 percent lighter which is like 435 grams lighter and in real life it is very 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 noticeable also it has like a different balance like the version one was a little bit front heavy this one is much more uh, you know well balanced and actually i felt that too you know testing those lenses shooting my legos i set up a, a tripod and first i started shooting with the new version 7200 mark ii then i dismounted the lens mounted the version one and the lens went like this the whole camera went like this you know my tripod wasn't screwed as tight as it's supposed to be but you know with version two it, it didn't need to uh it felt much lighter and much less front heavy so that's that's just out of the box uh, then when you look at these two lenses there are some differences in the you know buttons and, and on overall design uh, the, the 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 whole size is almost the same but then we gained we gained aperture ring we have aperture ring and additional switches that comes with aperture ring one is iris lock which is the aperture lock then there's deck click so deck clickable aperture we have one more switch that is new uh, this is a full-time dmf switch so this is a switch that helps you you know using like whenever you have a switch it on uh, you focus using af system and then you just slightly move the focusing ring it just automatically engages you know the, the manual focus modes so we can you know rest shift defocus and then we gained one more mode in optical civilization mode number three that is removing subjects for panning and shots and stuff like that um, but yeah that's that's about it regarding you know the body itself but the, the whole power of this lens maybe except you know the wave the wave part is like really cool but the whole power of this lens is what is inside and how well it performs and actually with the last few months like in this year particularly with all the new sony announcements we kind of saw the same stuff all the new lenses were smaller sharper and faster af and i i was actually laughing when they show me presentation about this lens and showing like this lens is faster this lens is sharper this lens is smaller i'm like you just do copy and paste all the time with all the new slides but but this time again it is 100 percent correct about this lens so starting off with the sharpness so this lens is extremely 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 sharp especially at 200 millimeters i feel that is even more sharp at 200 mil than at 70 mil 
testing it out compared to a version one shooting the TVA Loki from Lego uh, you can see that at 70 mil those both lenses are pretty similar with like slight advantage of the version 2 of the lens but at 200 millimeters like look at this the difference is crazy it's like the, the version 2 is just so much so much sharper and much more corrected in terms of chromatic aberrations that like it's crazy how good it is and then like coming back maybe to 70 mil you can also see the bokeh balls and the version 1 has some onion rings and the version 2 doesn't have any onion rings so if you don't like onions and if you don't like onion rings on your bokeh balls get the version 2 because it doesn't have them and how that image looks in like the real life situation so i shot a portrait session and yes the lens performed really really well uh, performed really well backlit it doesn't produce any flares the image is crystal clear and really really sharp the bokeh is very smooth so i kind of see you know that's the way the sony is going with all the new lenses very smooth bokeh very sharp image i'm pretty much sure that it's ready for like high 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 megapixel cameras just like 50g master and 35g master we saw earlier this year okay but now you know image quality is one thing but the second thing that this lens shines is the af motors in it so it has not one not two not even three but four for xd linear motors just like 135g master or all the new telephoto zoom g masters and you won't believe how fast it is it also was designed to reduce the focus breathing and the you know the focus shift while, while zooming and it's crazy just just so you get the idea how well it is done just look at the version one of this lens you know focusing back and forth and now look at the version two boom like it, like it's it just goes zip zip like i barely touched the shutter and the focus was already on the other side it's crazy i like actually when i was shooting my wife here testing this i went like holy shit and she was like what what's wrong what's wrong with this lens and i'm like they, like there's nothing wrong it's like exactly opposite of wrong it's awesome it's super awesome for those of you who are shooting fast action you know sh shifting the focus back and forth this this is game changer this is literally a game changer and as you can see there's no focus breathing at all as well so for video makers come on this like this is it again the, i i kind of feel that i have to do it slow clap for sony maybe too slow just a normal s slow normal speed clap getting slow yes slow clap sony you made amazing uh lens and and, and yeah that that's that's it that's that's what sony claimed about this lens and that's what i tested in real life about this lens and it seems to be all correct uh it's all true just like han solo said in force awakeness it's all true about the force and about the new 70 to 200 millimeter g master lens so yeah it's not a lens for me because I don't shoot zooms and for those of you who know me and who have been following me you know that I'm a 24 to a 50 uh, kind of guy so if, if Sony if you make 24 to 50 f1.4 G master zoom that's gonna be one lens I need in my life for the rest of my life <laughs> thanks so much for watching uh yeah stay tuned for more awesome videos coming this fall because i'm back i'm back after wedding season i'm back shooting videos for you guys and yeah if you feel like you want to support me buy the presets i edit all my photos with my magic Debra presets links are in the description as well as the links uh, to the sample images from this lens so yeah go check them out thanks so much for watching see you very soon